a lot of you guys have viewed our top 10 beginner coral series. We got some good responses from that. So Eli and I have decided to do a top 10 beginner saltwater fish series for you guys. Although tangs aren't really considered a beginner fish, a lot of people really want a tang. Eli and I discussed it, and if you're really insistent on doing a tang when you're getting your tank up and running, say in the first six months or so, Scopus tangs would be a good bet for you. Here's Eli to get a little more in depth with you on the Scopus tang. Thank you for the intro, Ernie, and I hope you guys are all excited for our new beginner fish series. And as Ernie just mentioned, number 10 on our list is the Scopus tang. And a little bit of background on the tangs in general, as he just described. We generally do not consider tangs to be a beginner fish. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is that they are very active swimmers and just about any tang out there really deserves a six foot tank to start out with. So we're talking probably a 125 beginning size tank for just about any tang out there just because they are such active swimming fish and a lot of them do attain a pretty large full grown size and need a good sized tank to be able to actually achieve a turning radius to be able to make laps in this tank. So for this reason, we decided to put these tanks as number 10 because a lot of beginners in the hobby do not necessarily start out with the most appropriate tank to add any tang in general. However, Scopus Tang tends to be one of the most peaceful tangs down the road. So it's one of the tangs that you can kind of mix with a lot of your other tangs and a lot of other large fish that it's not gonna be terribly aggressive. And they also do not achieve a terribly large full grown size. So adding them to a tank that is probably say a 125 or maybe a hair smaller is an okay bet for the Scopus just because they don't achieve the largest full grown size. A lot of the reading that you do on a Scopus tang or a yellow tang will put their maximum size at 12 inches or about a foot long. However, generally in aquariums, we do not really see this. Uh, a lot of times the largest one you're gonna see is probably eight or nine inches full grown, but that is not to say that they will never reach this foot long size in captivity. So it is always important to plan around the max size of this fish and make sure that you are setting yourself up for success with a fish when you're coming down to this size. So for that reason, it is only right to the fish and only proper to start out with a six foot tank, whether it's a 125 or bigger, to make sure that you're setting this fish up for success and setting yourself up for success for the long-term longevity and the health of this fish. Scopus tangs are personally one of my favorites, whereas they're not the most colorful fish. You do get a really cool gradient of this almost gold to yellow front half with a very dark black back half on this fish. There's a good amount of variability within individual scopuses, whereas some individuals are almost entirely black. And sometimes you run across some that are almost xanthic and completely yellow in color, more similar to a yellow tang. And they do not command the same price as say a yellow tang or a purple tang or a gem tang or the other zebrasoma species of tangs will command. So they are one of the most budget friendly tanks to begin with. They are grazers. So they really appreciate a large amount of rock work, a large amount of swimming room. So they have enough rocks to pick at. And in addition, you definitely wanna make sure that you are adding algae to the diet. So whether you're feeding say spirulina mysis shrimp to make sure that they run across some algae in their daily feed and hanging nori from a clip in the aquarium is pretty important probably every day or at least every other day just to make sure that this tang is getting the algae that it requires every tang out there is going to need some sort of algae in its diet just to maintain its health and feeding nori and feeding these seaweed based feeds is, is a must to make sure that they do well in captivity. As for tank mates for this fish, as long as you don't plan on adding any other tangs, you should be pretty much good to go. It should get along with just about anything in the aquarium. With tangs in mind, sometimes they can be a little bit picky about their tank mates, especially in a smaller aquarium if they don't have very much swimming room. So generally adding another tang might get tricky when you already have a Scopus in your tank and sometimes other grazers such as angelfish or rabbit fish can be a little hit or miss uh, when you do have a tang that's already established in the tank. They'll get a little territorial with the space that they have at their disposal. With this being said, the Scopus tang tends to be one of the more peaceful tangs in general 
and is often one of the tanks that you can add with other tanks down the road, especially if you go to a different genus, say you wanted to add a Acanthurus tang or a blue tang or something down the road that doesn't really resemble the Zebrasoma or the Scopus tang in shape, a lot of times you can make this work. Same thing with the angelfish and the rabbit fish. A lot of times these guys don't really see them as a threat. However, with any fish, they do have their own personalities and sometimes you might run into a little bit of aggression. So that's something to keep in mind with this fish and one of the biggest reasons that we kept them at number 10 on the beginner fish list. Scopus tang is definitely one of the easier tanks to add to a newer tank. However, I would not add one to a tank that is too new. Uh, I would definitely say this is a fish to add at probably the six months mark. Uh, once your tank has definitely established, you've got a good amount of algae on the rocks for this fish to graze naturally, and you've kind of got your bearings on how to keep a saltwater tank to make sure that you're starting off on the right foot with this fish that might be a little more sensitive than some of the other fish you'd start out with. That being said, the Scopus Tang is a really rewarding, beautiful fish to start out with in a saltwater tank. And tangs in general are a fish that a lot of people really want to add to their tank because they're such a beautiful, great presence to add to most tanks. Uh, so there's something that definitely most people want to strive for when they set up a saltwater tank. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you have suggestions or comments in our comments section below. Thank you for tuning in to this top 10 beginners fish list. And I hope you guys are excited for the uh, rest of this list to come. And keep on reefing.